Now this is probably the most exciting time when it comes to rock and surf fishing in South Africa. In the winter months, due to weather conditions changing, the cold current pushes up our east coast, which results in the sardines pushing up on the east coast of South Africa. Now if all the elements line up perfectly, these sardines move in close enough to the coastline that it can create a lot of excitement for any rock and surf angler. Millions of sardines move up with hundreds and thousands of game fish, sharks, dolphins and birds following these fish to feed on them. And if they come close enough to the shore, it is any rock and surf angler's dream. Being able to put a bait and not even wait long for a pull. Now the fish following the sardines consist of several species of game fish as well as several species of sharks. Big grey sharks, Zambezi sharks, blackfin sharks, spinner sharks, bronze whalers, but to name a few. On the edible side, it consists of several different game fish species, like the Garrick, Kuta, several species of kingfish, tuna, bonito, to name but a few, and of course the cob follows as well. A variety of flatfish will also get stuck into the action. Now wherever these sardines wash up or get netted, the fish moves in. So much so that sometimes you can literally drop your bait in front of the shark you want to hook. Other times they're only 20-30 meters away from the side. The objective is to get the hook up and either tighten up if there's a lot of other anglers and get it out before you get cut off or to allow it to go out a bit so you can move away from the crowd. Now it doesn't always happen that the sod's come in close and for several years now we've literally missed it. But this year it seems like things have turned a bit. On our visit this last weekend to Port St John's we saw several shoals just too far out for casting distance. However the guys with the drone got stuck into the action quickly. The sardines were about 300 meters out which made it possible for the drone anglers to get there. So on Friday there were some really good catches and a lot of big fish lost. From Saturday and into Sunday, the fish moved up and in Port Edward area, there was a lot of action. Anglers getting stuck into big fish. Dean Pretorius got stuck into a big shark, fought it for five hours, where it several times wrapped itself around the cables of the shark nets, and he managed to get it off. Unfortunately, after five hours, the last time he wrapped, it managed to cut him off. He answered quickly on Sunday morning with a nice catch. On Sunday, the sardines moved further up followed by several shark species that could be seen from the side jumping and ended up in Ramsgate Market area where all the action happened. The shoals of sardines in Port Edward as well as Ramsgate and Margate had mainly sharks with them and no edible or game fish species as shown their faces. The guys didn't wait long for a bite as you can see in some of the clips. Now there's some big monsters that pick up your bait and the guys don't manage to land them. The drone anglers are getting the best results when the shoals of swords are a bit further out, they can get to them. In Port St. John's, they got the best results on whole chocker baits. They also dropped some bonito, and one of the sharks, the grey sharks, got taxed, and some of those fillets work well as well. Now guys, this is a very exciting time, and if you're in the area, make sure you keep an ear on the ground of where the action is happening, and get yourself there. Make sure you've got the right tackle before you take on any of these big sharks. Nothing less than 200 pounds steel and 10 11 0 hooks. We obviously want to minimize the amount of sharks that swim around with a trace or a broken off piece of line in their mouths. Make sure you've got the right reel with at least 8-900 meters on. For example the Dawa Saltiga and some of the Saltus reels would handle most of the species up to I would say 250 kilos. Obviously the angler's skill plays a role as well. The drone anglers are using very big reels, deep sea reels, like the Saltiga Dogfight Multiplier Reel, the LD60. This can take 1,200 meters of 60 to 80 pound braid. We'll try and keep you up to date what the sods are doing. We're expecting that on Monday this week, they will have moved to Port Shepston and then moved towards Pamula, Stabell area and higher the days after. This whole week could be filled with action if the weather plays along. Make sure you subscribe to get updates as we post them.